Hi, this is Kevin Zahner, and in this video, I want to show you the new Google Sites. It's very simple compared to the old sites. Some people may like that, some pe people may be scared. At first, I was like, what, how am I going to do anything that I normally do with sites? And I thought, hmm, this is probably another one of those new apps or new updates from Google that's going to be phased in over time uh, to start people off rather simply and then add more and more like they did with Docs and all the other Drive apps. Uh, I think it's probably going to be something like that. Adding more and more of what people want based on feedback. So sit tight. What you're looking for will probably happen pretty soon. Um, so I'm looking at this actually not to use uh, to make a, a teacher site. I'm actually going to use it more like an intranet. A lot of companies and a lot of organizations use Google Sites and other websites uh, not to send information to the public um, just but to share among each other and to collaborate within an office in an intranet setting versus an internet setting so this is for a social studies department and it's actually going to be um, this banner I like this banner so far um, I just did a few things messing around with it for a few minutes and then I decided let's make a video so to change the images it's as simple as clicking change image and uh, you have all these different options, whether you want to search Google or upload by URL. Let's say you use Snagit and you have lots of little clips that you like and you want to just quickly share a URL from that clip that's in your Google Drive. It's super quick, all right? Um, say you have another website and you want to use the same image, just grab that image link and drop it in there. It's so much quicker uh, and your, your stuff will load much faster. So. Uh, access it right from Google Drive, maybe your albums, okay? And then as far as the styles and everything, it's super click, drag, drop, move around um, to add content. Like if you're going to add content below, and eventually I will. Um, I'm just going to show you more about uh, content on other pages. It's all these things over here plus other accesses to Drive. Let's make a page. Go to Pages, make a page. This one's going to be assessment okay and it's just like all of other Google's um, apps I'm not gonna mess with the positioning and formatting um, over time there are other people in the department that are really good with that and I'm gonna leave that for them uh, if they wanna change the images they don't like what I did they can change it too uh, does not bother me um, so I'm actually gonna search Google and just write assessment and see what comes up so a lot of these images that came up are busy. I like these cycle ideas, evaluation. We need that concept with our with our uh, assessments, right? Well, look at this one. This is kind of simple, um, and it's coming from the student, showing you know showing you a big message here. And notice these little twinkle twinkles down here. The uh, image adjusts for readability. Now you have control over that, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't have time. You know, I'm going to go with the auto correction and all that for now because I really just need to get this site done, not spend so much time making it, which is kind of nice. We can go fix it later, right? But we'll have something usable today, uh, which is kind of the point. Let's add some content for assessment. Um, I kind of want to add some something from Google Drive. I want to add uh, access, direct access from uh, Google Drive. So I'm going to click My Drive. And it's kind of loading. Here we go. I'm going to search for the department. And then I'm going to search this modern world folder. Okay. Now I'm in the way. Get out of the way. I'm going to insert this whole folder. And as you can see, the folder's there. I want to just change the size of the folder. I'm just going to drag it. Gives you these nice lines um, that help you help guide you. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it right over there. Okay, and let this catch up a little bit. There we go. Looks good enough for now. Um, but I want to add something else. I need. We need like a title, right? So add a text. Little text box down there. This is modern world. Uh, before we start piling uh, different subjects in here, we'll, we'll make sure we separate them by labels. Modern world, that's good enough. Um, let's see if we can change the text. This was a little glitchy earlier. 
What do I mean by glitchy? I mean, Google's working really hard on this stuff. Give them a break. They're trying to fix things. Sometimes tools work and sometimes they don't. That's fine. I will fix it later. Um, people who use Google and uh, often know exactly what I'm talking about. But in the long run, it's going to be your best bet. Uh, this is going to make the best product easiest to teach. Let's, let's see what this looks like. Uh, we click the view button. All right, we get, I'm in the way again, like my wife says. And we want to look at it. So imagine that this was larger right here. Um, we have, uh, we could look at it from a mobile view, right? If we're looking at it on our phones, right? Or uh, tablets, right? And this is uh, your full desktop or, or laptop, okay? So nice to just check to see what that looks like. And maybe, you know, in the future we'll add another label. Now I know, like add your labels, I'll add like US History 1, US History 2, and it, it access to those exams right away. Um, it's kind of cool, um, especially if you're doing common assessments. You know, it's all about the collaboration. It's all about you know being able to drop evidence in there and have conversations about what your what your kids are doing and how the instruction um, went based on the the assessment results. It's not about testing, testing, testing. It's really about teachers having that conversation so that kids are getting a better education than if if teachers worked alone, right? That's the point of all this. So I'm actually going to keep in that spirit and not do too much with this website. I'm just going to, I'm going to allow other teachers to add their, their subjects. Maybe there's uh, course partners and leaders in those groups that, that want to do more with this site than by all means, you know, take it and run with it. But we have that space um, to work and it's easier to work with this space than let's say the old Google sites. Um, one that one thing that's really cool about this new sites is you can all work in real time. So just like Google Docs, other people can be working on the site, and you can see what they're doing. You know what's what's better than that for a group that needs to work on uh, lots of stuff and keep it in one place. It's just it looks better, it presents itself better uh, than Google um, Google Drive. You know it's it's just so much easier to find your stuff and more appealing to look at, um, especially when you're presenting things in meetings and. All that now one of the initiatives that we're going to do this year is on writing so we're going to just call this one um on writing and i should spell it properly and this is a, a few years that we're going to phase in this initiative um to teach kids how to write research papers so that by their their junior year they're writing um, a, a 10 to 15 page research paper for our college prep courses uh, we feel like that they should have that experience in, in a subject area like history um, before they go off and take history courses at the college level. So we've already seen how to change the images. I just, I like this part. It's really cool to change the images. And let's go with search again. I really, I don't even know what's in my drive. We'd spend so much time looking for stuff in there. Um, let's do writing. And this right off the bat, that's cool. I like students doing work, simple stuff here. Um, you know, I am a writer, maybe not the grade level we're looking for. Um, this is all really cool stuff. Um, I like this. It has kind of a, you know, it looks historical. You know, it, it, I don't know really what it is, um, but, you know, it's it's going to adjust it for readability. And that's what it did. It changed the color of the text. It still doesn't look great, but I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to maybe go back and change it another time. Uh, maybe someone in the group has a better idea. Uh, or maybe they love it. You know, I, have, I I don't want to make that all the decisions for them. It's just not my style. Now I'm going to go back to inserting content. And I'm going to get this guy out of the way. Let's look at slides. All right? want to insert a slide presentation in that area. Um, effective writing basics. I love this presentation. Uh, I got it just by searching on the internet for power uh, Google search PowerPoint and I just put in PPT and uh, um, writing and this came from um, a university URL I'm very confident that these examples in here were exactly what we we're looking for now we can make it different sizes and change all that you know maybe maybe that's some uh, adjustments for another day um, I want to add something else let's add 
a video okay now adding this YouTube video um, no videos uploaded so I haven't actually added uploaded any videos uh, I'll have to look into that another time uh, YouTube uh, thesis writing I don't know if that's actually what it's called but we're gonna look for a good one for writing thesis statements now what would be really cool is if we had the thesis statement video that I always use with my students um, if I type in the exact title it'll come up so let me skip away really quickly to YouTube and figure out what that is called um, you got to be careful because you know thesis writing it's hard to find a good video for thesis writing thesis statements but this one went through um, even up to the three the three-point thesis how to write a strong thesis statement yeah that's what it is so we'll go with how to write a strong thesis statement a strong that should be enough and it's gonna be the ninja one the ninjas where are the nin there it is let's go with the ninjas okay um, and there it goes okay it's it's right back in right right over there you know maybe we want that one larger maybe we, we like the way it is okay but still the content is there um, it's easy let's see what it looks like on our uh, mobile view hmm It's kind of taking a bit to load. Maybe I'm asking a lot of this right now. Oh, that's not too bad. Right? It's pretty slick. You know, I love I love Google. I've always used Google. I use Blogger and I use Sites. And that's what I use uh, for all my web presence. And, uh, you know, some people love Weebly. They swear by WordPress. Those sites are great. That's good stuff uh, all day long for sure. Um, but I just stuck with Google, and I think it's paying off because I'm not having to relearn, you know, all these different pat platforms. Uh, it's just keeping up with the updates, you know. And this new app is just to me, it's just another one of those updates. And I'm going to be patient and see what happens. So thanks for watching. Uh, add anything to the to the uh, the comments below about what you've you've done or what you think of this, whether it's the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, you know, w whatever. Uh, let's add to this conversation. It'll only it'll only help everyone else. So, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see, you like what you hear, and uh, I'll see you again.